We are ready, open. Well, tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. we will be open at our new facility, Unit 2, number 17, South Airway in Port Kennedy. If you just go Got Street, G-O-T-T Street, you will find us. There's not a sign on the outside of the building yet, for fuck's sake, it's going up on Tuesday. Jesus. But guys, I'll give you a bit of a tour. I know I'm gonna forget things here. Um, first of all, let me thank everyone who helped out with the move uh, in whatever capacity. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to do it with ouches. So guys, out there, you can see we have ample parking now. We've still got our same reception desk. We got our, uh, I just finished this. I wanted this up before we did this little tour video, but let's have a little bit of a walk through. The offices are not ready. I don't even have a desk in my office yet. So there's a few little odds and ends that still need doing to get this place completely finished. But hey, we are pretty much there. So guys, as you come in, you are basically gonna see this view here. So we got the big Smiths on the wall, a shitload of grass. That's about, uh, what is it? Eight by 16 without anything on it about eight meters by 17 probably without anything on it. Um, we've got our cardio equipment here, four treadies, four air bikes, four Concept2 rowers. And then we've got our biggest change to this gym is having ample room to do cross training and group training sessions. So we got away with it in the last gym, but now we are set up. We can have, you know, like a squad of 16 working in pairs all squatting, all pressing, all lifting in their own rack uh, rather than sharing their sort of lifting station. We've got 14 places to squat from in this place, I think. So we've got eight lifting stations down the middle here um, with the cross training rigs, as you can see here, here and on the other side. Then we've got space for Ollie lifting in the middle with the rogue rack that moves. Uh, then we've got Another rig, this one is the odds and ends rig. Just made it uh, out of sort of the uprights that we already had at the gym. Bought another set of uprights, put it onto the other end of that rack. But you can see here, we've got some pull-up bars at different heights for ease of use. We got our uh, suspension bands there as well. So that's sort of the cross training area over here. We've got all our med balls kettlebells, wall balls over there. We have our three red racks up here that have been in the last two gyms. So we sort of picked them up and just plonked them in here. Um, so these are our lifting platforms, lifting platform, lifting platform, lifting platform. We've got our plyo boxes. We've got our belt squat set up over here and our dip station. We found uh, in the last gym that we would sort of set the dip station up, then someone would want to squat, then someone would bring the dip station back, and the dip handles would sort of go all around the place. So they're pretty much just going to stay there now because there's so many other places to lift that that can be the belt squat and dip station, even though it's sort of taking up a squat rack. It doesn't matter too much at all. In the middle here, we have our beast, our monolift for all our power lifters. There is only space for one monolift. There was po a possibility of getting two. There's only a space for one in here. The lifting side of things filled up very, very quickly. So let's go to the front of the lifting sort of gym area, the resistance training area. We have a longer dumbbell rack. We're gonna grab some heavier dumbbells when I can find them um, and pop those down the end of our longer dumbbell rack. There is one mirror missing and it hurts me so much so there's going to be an extra mirror uh here as well this corner is a bit shitty at the moment I want that glute ham raise out of there and those uh storage cubes as well but we got our hammer strength uh incline flat decline benches here we got this big monstrous thing our cable crossover i've shown you guys in previous videos we actually moved the seated row from uh, it was here, we moved him to there to create some space. So we've got a tricep push down, cable crossovers in the middle, pull up bars in the middle as well. We've got our big seated row. And then around here, we have our second lat pull down as well. Big weight stacks on that thing, big weight stacks, it's heavy. I think I did 
what, like a set of six tricep push downs. I'm only using four plates. Who's doing this on a tricep push down? Jeez. So over here, guys, we've got our machines as well. So we've got our hammy curl leg extension. We've got our chest press. We've got our leg press. We've got our hack squat slash Viking press. I use it more for Viking press, to be fair. We've got our other seated row lat pull down. That was the only one we had in the other gym. So we've doubled up on that. Then we have, thanks to Dylan, the master welder, we have a bench pull as well. A bench pull machine, and we've got our McDonald bar on there as well. Um, that's a sweet little setup. Thank you so much for Dylan to whipping that, for whipping that together for us. Through here, we have our benches. Let's get a look at all of them. We've got the big uh, incline bench, which I've shown you guys before. Then we've got one, two, three, four, four IPF spec competition standard benches. One of them is a combo from Verve, which you can use to squat out of as well. What else do we have? Chucked all our bars here. It's a lot neater than our setup before. Uh, we went through the mono. We got our mono attachment on this rack just here as well. We've got our chalkboards up for uh, Sally's the only one that's come in and already let everyone know what she's about. Chucked her records up already. So guys, this is a grass area here. I'm doing a bit of a 360, bit of a 360. All our uh, sort of cross training gear as well. And you can get a bit of a better idea of our cross training rigs. From there to there. Let's go through into the lounge area. Now this isn't finished. We got to figure out how to floor it. But uh, we have our little kids area here. We got to bring some toys. I'm going to bring uh, Lenny's leftover toys, chuck them down here. We got a couch from Brooke. We got the old couch from the other gym. We got a little coffee table, TV. Probably need to get that set up. Obviously we don't want to keep it on a crate. That's the old sign there from the Bakewell gym. So two gyms ago, it was, it was sitting on top of the toilets at the old gym that whole time. Ladies toilet and shower, guys toilet. Obviously the guys can use the shower if they need to. Down here we have, I put him up today. Where is he? Basketball ring. Skate box. Possibly room for other activities up the front there. So, guys, where's the best view of this gym? I think it's back here on this first treadmill. Let's have a geese of it. I know I've been ranting and walking around pretty random, but rather than plan this whole video, there it is, guys. You see down that wall all the way to the offices. So, when it comes to training, we got everything you need. So, unit two, number 17, Saltair Way. If you just enter off Gott Street, you're sorted. There it is, guys. Thanks for following along. This will be the last video, setting up the gym. Maybe a bit of an office tour for the next video. Thanks for watching. And guys, see you soon. We're here 6 till 10 a.m. tomorrow, 3 till 8 p.m. throughout the week. Hopefully, uh, Mr. McGowan will bring back that 24-7 access. Till then, guys, hope to see you soon. Stay tuned.